rudder working fine, uh, <laughs> and hip working fine. Master is in, curl heat is cold, mixture is rich, cabin heater is off for the time being, fuel pump is on, I'm on the front tank, we've got 40 litres in the front tank, magnetos are on both. Pressures and temperatures are fine. Three controls. Going to give it a burst of hot air. Quite cold out there today. Uh, transport coming on. I expect to go down the hill just a little bit. Might be wrong. Uh, light on fuel, only one. No, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. Carb heat is coming in. And we're rolling. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. in the valley but that's what Duncan said we could expect. Turn that down a little bit to get rid of some of that hiss. Uh, born at 22 20 to 1. In the air. Um, first time for a long, long time that I had a month without getting one single flight in. But as I've probably covered before else, elsewhere, um, and I did warn people that it was going to be a bit of a strange time, uh, we did move into the new place on Christmas Eve. Um, didn't actually sell or complete on our place until the 17th of January. I was involved in a little chain that took a bit of time. Um, so, bring the power back. In no great rush. Um, so it was, we were able to move over in stages. A good job because I can't see how we would have managed to move um, in one day, uh, 39 years worth of uh, rubbish, we ended up by chucking a whole lot of stuff, but also, I have to admit, taking stuff that will probably not make a second cut when it comes to unloading it. I also had quite a few bits and pieces from Dad's because we had to move out of Dad's as well. So, uh, it's been rather manic. I had to decorate three rooms very very quickly um, also in the meantime found out that there was well there was some insulation in the, the, the loft but a very very small amount so we put a, a base layer of 100 uh, mil in and then we put a top up of 200 so uh, um, that should hopefully do the job for a while um, and then I was going to come over yesterday for a fly. Uh, it's sunnier today, but, but windier. Uh, yesterday was very, very calm and very still, but apparently the cloud was down to about 1,300. But as I was coming away, unfortunately, um, I noticed that the manhole had uh, overflowed. So uh, <laughs> I'll cut that footage in 
now. Um, but luckily, my brother-in-law, who lives over the road, which is where the horse is, which is what makes it all very convenient, was uh, very, very helpful. He's been extremely helpful all the time with all the moving and everything. But uh, right he brought his yeah, little digger right. across, and we dug up the trench. We knew exactly where the blockage was. We didn't know what the blockage was. I was expecting to find a broken pipe with plenty of gunk all around. But in fact, once we got down to the pipe, we noticed that, uh, well, he noticed that it had been put over a brick to hold it up. It wasn't set in stone, like shingle or whatever people normally yeah. do. Um, and stuff, what had it? happened was that the ground had moved and basically it had taken this rubber, and it was a rubber pipe, and bent it over a brick, so it restricted oh, it, smell to it down. Um, yeah. And it yeah, wasn't able to, to rod it, of course. So, it could do, um, couldn't I? Cut a section into it. It all sounds very easy and very simple, but it was quite a complicated job, but Andrew and Beach did a tremendous job. Um, Brilliant job. But Very my professional. Idiot, I wasn't oh. able to help. I've seen that on YouTube like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great deal. I have mentioned it, I think, in a, a video in the past, or maybe this video, if I've combined the two together. Um, I'm due to go in halfway through April to have a replacement. Um, I found it very difficult to do things and extremely tiring um, because everything is that much harder to do. But I'm not going to moan. Um, there's a lot of people much worse off than I am. But it will be nice to get that sorted. Um, and the other thing that's caused me some problem is the fact that being out in the sticks, internet is not an easy one to organise. Um, and some of the main big providers just don't get enough of a signal to make it work. So we have found a specialist provider who have got a contract to put fibre into outlying vill villages um, and hopefully that will come fairly soon. And when it does come, um, the figures are very, very good. Uh, I did put an underside camera in today. Um, this was more to do with me getting back into the air and flying than actually producing something for um, for the camera. But hopefully now as the house begins to settle um, and the weather gets better, I was going to say I'll get more flying, but there's going to be a chunk of time when I don't fly um, once I've, I've had the operation. But hopefully by the time we get to the middle of the summer, that will all be sorted and uh, yeah, we'll be able to do a whole lot more. Hello, Korean India Zulu 7 Radar, Roger, happy details, basic service, QNH 1045, Squawk 4575. Uh, basic service, QNH 1045, Squawk 4575, Golf near Zulu. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm quite pleased because I must admit. I'm uh, with... Captain Radar, good afternoon, Golf Papa, Bravo, India, X ray, also requesting a basic service. Papa, Bravo, India, X ray, Southern Radar, stand by. I was amazed when I wound the altimeter round um, to find that I kept on going and I couldn't really believe that it was going to be 1045, one but South End have just confirmed it, which is yeah, amazing. One of the biggest numbers I think I've ever had to set. Although I'm not, I'm not sure about that one, but it, yeah, it was very, very, or is very, very high. Anyway, I'll put them back on if you want to have something to listen to. Delta entry controlled airspace in three miles, radar control service inside. Entering that airspace in three miles, radar controlled inside, golf, golf, golf. Copy, Derek, say pass your message. 
Basic service, QNH 1045, Squawk 4575. That was quite a nice little climb. <laughs> and quite a nice little descent there, but uh, yeah. I think the thing is, the air is very, very cold. So, therefore, it's working well. There was a contact a little while ago, but he's moved off there to the north. So far, I have to say that the hip and the leg is working fine. We'll see what happens when we come into land. Not that I'm expecting any difficulty. If not, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have flown if that was the case. I thought, actually, the higher I got, the calmer it would be, but it doesn't actually seem to be the case. It was a quartering tailwind to take off, which, with a bit of luck, should mean I've got a quartering headwind to land. Always a little bit of a bonus at Nayland when you've got a headwind to land into. Didn't go down the hill as far as I thought I might have done, but as I said before I took off, I was quite, oh, I'm quite light. Um, so, yeah. Rain traffic, Gulf Uniform, Lee, Missouri, Yankee, inbound from south -east. two miles rows ahead, Rainhall Farm. Rainhall Farm, this is Gold from Guy Cray, up out Sierra, look for taxi for runway 27. Roger that, no problem, you'll be up on the way before we get there, Trevor. Cheers. Cool, that's off us, Daryl. Now, I know Martin's in the air. I, um, I think Matt is in the air. I know he was having a problem getting the hip box to start, but I think it was starting just as I taxi passed. Um... Duncan and Rob were going to fly again. Felt a bit of a heel for reminding the chaps that have gone down to the pub in the village that the last takeoff is two o'clock on a Sunday. It's one of those things, I'm afraid. Mainland traffic of Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is approaching the overhead mainland traffic. I think that's Duncan just going in. Not quite so much in the headwind this time, but it's fairly typical, isn't it? A whole load of deer in a field down there. Even if I had the underwing camera going, I don't know whether we would have picked them up. Uh oh, and Martin's going in. So we're all going in, bit of a convoy. Just need Matt to follow me round, and there'll be all four of us. Nailin traffic, go for the Yankee Echo Hotel final, Nailin traffic. say we do need to get the runway markers down if you don't know where it is it's not quite so easy oh 
I was going to say buzzards, but that would be a lie because they're kites. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Back in the air, which is really good. Um, stuck with me this time, then I do very much appreciate it. Do leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, the likes always help. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you again.